Nintendo, I know you're watching this video. It contains none of your copyrighted intellectual properties in any shape or form, footage-wise or image-wise. You censored NW Player and you used the basis of having copyrighted information in the video as a way to take it down. I'm telling you right now, this video doesn't contain anything in regards to your materials, and if you do take my video down, I will fucking sue you for infringing upon my First Amendment right as a United States citizen to free speech. You cannot censor me based on what I talk about in this video, Nintendo. I want you to take this shit down. Please take this shit down. I would love to catch a case. A guaranteed fucking case. That would be great. So by all means, Nintendo, I'm warning you right now. There's no basis for you to be able to take this video down. And if you do, God almighty help me. Anyways, we have information in regards to Splatoon, and it's stuff that's gonna blow your fucking socks off. Now, as I mentioned in that early disclaimer, we don't have any of the footage, we don't have any of the pictures, because obviously Nintendo's gonna get their panties in a bunch, and they're going to be misusing the United States copyright laws in whatever way possible to get what they want. We are going to be talking about the recent information that was leaked by NW Player, and as you all probably know by now, NW Player's YouTube account has been cancelled multiple times over by Nintendo due to the fact that he showcased a lot of information in regards to hacks, exploits, and other things that take advantage of Splatoon's system. We're not going to be showing any of this stuff here, but go to NW Player's Twitter, it'll be linked in the description as well too, or maybe it won't, depending on what the fuck goes down. Either way, I want Nintendo to give me a case, so that way I got a guarantee win in the fucking future. Please, Nintendo, by all means, I know you're watching this shit, please, please take the video down. Anyways, now, the information is fucking staggering. And we're going to be going through this one by one. Now, there's a series of images that NW Player started posting, and I'm guessing since he was basically taken down by Nintendo so many times just for showcasing information in the game and hacking into the game, that he's probably pissed off too. And the format that he revealed everything definitely shows he's pissed. Spoilers. Big time leaks. Big time spoilers. Any further continuation past this point, and you know what you're getting yourself into right now, you don't want to get spoiled by leaks, turn the fuck around and leave out the door you came in. Anyways guys, so now we're going to be looking at NW Player's Twitter. At around one hour ago, NW Player posted a picture of the Octoling inside of the training room with a jacket on and glasses. And it says, welcome to the Octo Research Lab. We're a branch of the Squid Research Lab that studies all things Octarian. Today, I'll be showing you some content coming to Splatoon single player. But first, let me introduce you to these fellows, the Octolings. The Octolings are the counterpart to the Inklings you know and love. They're sneaky little suckers, so watch out. And there's pictures of the Octoling with purple hair and a lab jacket with glasses inside of the training room right now as he's writing these posts with these images next to them. He says next, one hour ago, there is next to zero doubt in my mind that there is going to be a direct like this in October when 3.0 launches for Splatoon. There's another picture here, two pictures actually. Because Octolings are a different species, they also have their own humanoid form and Octoform. Eureka indeed. The image on the left showcases the Octarians or the Octoling, whatever you want to call them, in their octopus form, and the image on the right shows them transforming from that form into the full octopus humanoid form. And the transformation sequence looks like it's more adjusted for the Octolings now, so that's that's a big hint at the fact that the Octolings now have a much smoother transition for some strange reason that's accessible in the game now due to a much easier means than before. NW Player then says 37 minutes ago, in the update later today, you'll be able to play as an Octoling. Huzzah! To commemorate this, we're releasing a second batch of Amiibo. This is the part that's gonna blow your fucking socks off. This includes your very own Octoling Amiibo, as well as a Kali and Marie Amiibo. I didn't even see that! This is crazy information. So there's gonna be three more Amiibo in Splatoon. Right now, the image that's shown with this post, talking about the Amiibo, shows an Octoling standing inside of the Amiibo box in the Splatoon Square, where normally you would see the Inkling Boy, Girl, and the Squid. This is not fake. NW Player did not fake. This is 100% real. Octolings are coming, and new Amiibo are coming as well, too. A Kali Marie Amiibo, a Marie Amiibo, and a fucking Octoling Girl Amiibo. This is guaranteed, 100%. I can't show you the images, but they're there. It exists. Go to NW Player's Twitter. It exists right now. Um, we're going to look at the next image. Octolings also have their own unique specials, too. Take, for instance, the Kraken. Now, 
This next image shows him in the training room with the Kraken activated, you know, the special, but it looks exactly like a fucking Octoling. The colors are adjusted for an Octoling. The color scheme, you know, the way the, the and, and the look, everything is adjusted for the Octolings here. It's crazy, and I cannot believe that they were actually implementing them this far in. They're going to be in the game, and we're going to have new Amiibo as well, too. All this information is being confirmed by NW Player only 30 minutes ago. 30 minutes ago, dog. Go to the Twitter page so you can see these images for yourself. I'm fucking speechless right now. This is some of the most incredible information of Splatoon. No, this is definitely the most incredible information of Splatoon we've had. Um, previous videos that I did covering the leaks that NW Player made did showcase the fact that Octolings were much easier to access in the game's code after certain updates, which made him think back then, oh shit, Octolings are definitely coming in the future. And now he sees that there's an Octoling amiibo figure in the game, as well as Callie and Marie in the game. My fucking dick cannot handle this. It seriously cannot handle this at all right now. There's more posts as well, too. After that last post that showcases the Octoling Kraken, then NW Player post a picture of Sonic, which I retweeted. Um, I can at least show you this one. And this picture of Sonic says, <laughs> No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me. And this is obviously taking a direct blow at Nintendo for um, censorship and uh, claiming, you know, Copyrighted material, infringement, all that other stuff. Um, spoiler central, basically. Yo. So yeah, the images, I can't show you them, but they're at the Twitter. Go and find the Twitter yourself. It's a very easy find. Um, you have the username right here, nwplayer123. Go do some Google work. Um, I'm going to get rid of this right now and then look at these other new tweets. Um, would this work on the European version? Probably. Um, yeah, this looks really cool. I wonder if you could change the weapon and clothing too. Um, probably. Yeah, you heard it here. This is the biggest fucking leak in Splatoon we've ever had. New amiibo are coming, and we also have Octolings as playable characters. Definitely coming. 100% guaranteed. There's no debating it anymore. It's just a matter of when. Um, NW Player says a new update will be coming in October. That'll probably be the big update that brings all this new information in. Holy shit.